Right, so the next thing I want to get on with is I want to put this uh, step side on. Um, and the way I done it, did it originally was is, uh, we welded uh, basically an L shape uh, box section and then it went underneath the, the uh, side step or the running board I should say <clears throat> and the unfortunate thing was is uh, even though it's made of 3 mil steel the outside of it, uh, now it's been sandblasted, it's quite thin here so I actually need to weld this back up what I then came up with was make, to make angle iron brackets like this but unfortunately this position is no good because as you can see it's right in line with the cross member so I built them like this which is better because it's further forward and then it bolts through the back there I can put a plate on that if I need to what I've done then is I've got a second set here which will now go on the back part I'll get it leveled up, I have to put the front wing back on obviously because I have to work out where it's going to come to here uh, and then I can attach, so it'll be attached in four places it'll be, uh, there'll be two L shaped brackets here, one here it'll be attached across here on this and attached on the front wing as well so it should be very stable hopefully um, and then we can put this piece back on again, it's already made we just think we can put it back on after these brackets are put in but I just need to make sure that they were lined up properly first so I'll bring you back, I'm going to have to take this panel off which in turn means taking the arch partly off to get this piece out because I need to get behind here to weld or to uh, put the new bracket on there So and obviously once they're all on and they work I'll then uh, clean them up, paint them up, do the welding and get everything painted back the way it should be so I'll show you once I've uh, got it stripped down so I've got that ring, uh, the ring, that wing basically set up it's not, I haven't got the bolts in here yet I've only put the two bolts under the wing support so I'll, I'll strap that down and then I can work out exactly where that running board needs to go um, so that's the one bracket there so there'll, there'll be one support coming down the L shape here and then this piece will be bolted together, you can see this end of this wing is knackered, I'm going to have to repair all that, all this end here uh, and then I'll make a bracket for that and then the other bracket has to go in there, in between so I need to take all that weld out, that means I have to take this side brace off and the arch and everything, but I want to just get it in position first and make sure it's going to work and uh, then go from there but yeah, it's coming on well, it's all painted up, that'll look really nice it's quite heavy because it's that uh, uh, tubular that's been cut in half to make the, the round bit on the end here but it's coming on uh, that's the mud guard the, the, the sides and the side bracing uh, so now I can get to all these where I need to clean everything up and repaint it There's a few holes you can see here uh, and basically these are the brackets that it all sits into on the top and then there's brackets in here as well internally so what I need to do now is take all this weld off here I don't know if you can see it very well it was welded on the side so I've got to clean all that down but um, yeah yeah I just don't know if I can get to the bolts with that in place so I'll see um, might, might just, might just be able to get to them there. Otherwise, if I go under there, it's going to be hard to get to them. I need to take the cab off to do that. Anyway, that's uh, that's the next job, and, uh, and then I can set this on there because I say it's quite substantial. This, you can see the way I've uh, made it. Weld it all the way through there. I'll maybe put a couple of braces across as well. But you can see how it's how it's the half moon shape. I've already cut the other side. That's, that's quite substantial, but you better stand on it easily or ride on it. In fact, so that's a bit nice way it's all tidied up. So get all this cleaned up. Crack on with that. 
um, get any holes welded or get it get it um, grind, grind down first and then weld up any holes and uh, when it's finished paint it then I'll put the side back on and go over the other side hopefully got these two on, I haven't put the bolts through this one in front but I've put the one in the back now this is typical when you're building something of a knock on effect and I didn't think about it and I should have done it, I know that white line there is uh, right in front of where this this needs to go so the holes are not lining up now the um, that we've put into this so I need to now take out a piece it would have been easier just to cut that piece off that's not completely welded and brought it further in and put the bolts behind it but I was thinking about the cab taking the cab off and all that and I thought and I'll just bring it forward and then you can see there the issue right in the corner there where it's catching I need to bring it forward about um, four or five mil so I'm gonna have to chunk four or five mil out of that and then put a fascia on it afterwards it's the only way I can do it unfortunately um, because that was really hard to get through that uh, to get through that chassis the, the, the bit on the back, so obviously when they made these in them days they obviously couldn't extrude the steel I guess, they didn't have the technology. So what they would make is like a U-tube, um, uh, like, a, like a half box section, like a channel, and then they'd weld this on the outside of it, but of course this is the one that's taken all the crap over the 80 odd years it's been around and it's got thinner, the wall on here, but the back is okay, but there's so much shit inside it, it's unbelievable. So I would say if I do get rid of this or I sell it to somebody who's, who's doing up a Rosselet or you know a Citroen, a U11, the um, thing I would do if I was restoring it is I'd take the whole side of this all the way off, all the way along and put a new one on. Because the rest of it, then you could get in, clean the chassis out, sandblast it properly and put a proper new three mil plate all the way on. A lot of work, but it would be worth it because otherwise, uh, uh, with all the rust on it. Anyway, so I'm going to have to do now is notch this out. I've got no choice because it's in the right position now. But yeah, it's something to look out for. This, you know, this, as I said, this kind of knock-on effect. Um, you know, we stepped it because we put this bar in first. I had to bring this across. Now, if I'd have brought it across just, you know, four or five mil more, I wouldn't have this problem. But because I didn't think about that at the time. So I'll bring it back when I've uh, cut it out. What I've decided to do is rather than cut all that piece all the way up and make a notch in it, weld it all back, um, basically it would have been about there somewhere. The top one would have been there and the rest would have come in a bit. That's an awful lot of work so I've thought about it. What I'll do is just build a new leg and I'll just bring the leg back there. So it's right in line with that. And the distance is, you know, three and a half mil, uh, three and a half centimetres, so it's not a massive deal and I can use the rest to screw the, the side plate in and that'll save a lot of work. So I've just taken those two pieces out there at the top and just moved it over. You can see where the original one was there. It's here, you can see where it was, it was just tacked in. So basically what I'm doing is just swapping it one for one. So what I'll do is I'll tack that in place now so I know where it is, um, and it's in line with that, and then, um, and then I weld it in properly. So that's uh, you've got to kind of resolve these things as you go along, but uh, it should be okay, I think. I'll weld it in now, and I'll bring you back. It's not actually on; it's just it's, it's just sat on it. Cause if I Nowhere. I've got to bolt it now at the bottom and then on the back and on the front, but it's nicely in line. Fits nice here. I've got to repair all this anyway. So front and back is pretty good and it's level. Whoa, so uh, just clean all this up and then start the other thing on the other side. So um, there's no point in showing you both sides, um, 
uh, but as I get on during the next week, uh, Amir left on Wednesday and he'll be gone for at least a couple of weeks. Um, so I'll probably put one up each weekend or something. Uh, and I'll show you where I'm at at that. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's, uh, that's the job. So, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.